Now there's a couple of tips here I've discovered when dealing with the resistors out of the tapes. And one of the best ones I've seen is only open up as much as you want to use. And the second one completely contradicts that, which is empty the components onto a tray that you're going to use. So, what I'm going to do is empty all 10 out. And you notice that they've all landed upside down. And if you drop them, they turn over 50% of the time. So instead of trying to uh, fiddle and fettle, making sure they're the right way round, just drop them. And as you can see, they just sort themselves out after a while. Okay, I've managed to reposition the camera um, a bit closer um, so I can show you the, the next bit. I'm just going to move that down a bit more so you can actually see this. So I've got the paste on the, um, on the pads. I've got the components run the right way. Um, and I'm going to be working this way around. And it's just a case of now plopping the components on the board. Now you notice I'm not being too fussy here. About how neat they are. And I hope in the next process I can show you why. Okay, and breathe. And already I can see it starting to melt and the, the paste is already gone um, a dull shade. It looks as if it sort of flowed into the board a bit more. There we go, it's starting to go now, look. Perfect, they've all gone, they've all flowed. Excellent. So let's turn the air off. Let the board cool down and we'll have a closer look and see what they look like. So on closer inspection of these, um, certainly on this side here, it looks as if I might be adding a bit too much solder paste. So on the next 10, I'm gonna do a bit of an experiment. I'm gonna add not as much, literally just a tiny blob. I'm 
Okay, so let's start putting these components on. Once again, just going to get the board hot. And I hope with this one here, I'll keep it uh, fairly closed in, and I hope you'll be able to see the, um, the, the transformation of the components. So When I started to do this, I found that um, I put the wrong size nozzle on the first time. I thought small components needed a small nozzle, but actually that's that's not right at all. What ends up happening is you just you just focus the uh, the air, and it just literally blows them off the board. There we go, they're starting to go now, look. Let's have a closer look to see whether that's actually happened on all of them. Yeah, good. Well, I can see a marked difference between the two. And I think I had the right amount this time round. So it really is a very small, a very small amount indeed. Okay, well, I'm gonna take a break for a minute because I'm starting to shake quite a lot. So I wanna take my time on this. So I'm gonna take a break and come back and do the next the next block and I'll see you uh, when I've completed this okay so uh, I've had a cup of tea um, I had to do a couple of other little jobs as well but uh, I managed to get the rest of the components on and uh, I found it easier actually because it was right in front of me and not you know over with the camera what I have made a discovery is that these pads um, I find that if I put uh, paste across the pad. Let me get a pencil and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I made a discovery that if on the pad, if that's the pad there, if I put enough gloop across there and then I fit the component uh, on, on that, that seems to be enough to give me a really nice fillet on the on the actual soldering and the last two rows I did exactly that as much as I possibly could and and I think the results are a lot a lot cleaner um, I think I've got the amount just about right for uh, for soldering on here um, so I'm pretty happy with that so all I've got to do now is just fit the last three components which is a 4.7 meg uh, resistor there um, a diode and a capacitor so let's fit those board, those pieces on now. Okay, so let's see what we've got now. We're just uh, gonna connect it up and uh, check the resistance. 51.9, 52 ohms. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. That worked well. And there we go, that is the um, SMD dummy load provided by Kanga products it's available on their shop for under six pounds it's a great introduction to surface mount components and honestly if I can do it so can you let's just remind ourselves I shake terribly so if I shake and I can't see then you can do it as well 
thoughts, questions, anything you've got like that, please let me know. Um, and uh, I'm just starting out on this, so I'm sure I've made lots of mistakes. Let me know. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.